Hey guys, we're going to get started right on the money tonight because uh, we have a hard stop at nine o'clock. Hey Jen. So tonight is, well, welcome Team Limitless. I'm Joshua. This is Lisa. And tonight, as we discussed last week, this is kind of a freestyle night and because we've limited our calls to half hour, which everybody seems to like, be quick and concise and right to the point. Um, that's also eliminated participation time. And um, that's not really what we want, but we, we feel like the feedback has been great uh, thus far. So tonight is really just an open forum, chat about whatever, struggles, um, accomplishments, questions that people have, things that you think are gonna be beneficial to everybody. You can just bring up anything, nothing stupid. There's no stupid question. It's all you know as basic as you think it is. It's very important we all forget the basics. Um, so we can talk about whatever you want, and whoever wants to just jump in and go, we're just going to freestyle for a little bit. Lisa's got some information that she's going to share before we um, end the call. But other than that, we can just – do you want to do that now? Yeah, why don't I open All right, it up let's start. Lisa's going to open up, and then we'll go to the, the chat. Okay. I'm just going to make the screen smaller so I can read off of one of my documents. So I wanted to share – some additional information with you about the holiday hustle. So does everybody know what the holiday hustle is? Everybody get the memo? Raise your hand if you have. Okay, for the rest of you, you're in luck. I'm gonna tell you what the holiday hustle is. Basically, if you've got a couple people on your Christmas list, this is gonna make you very happy. So starting today, through November 25th, Isagenix started a new promo where associates can earn a free iPad Pro, which is valued at over $650, by enrolling eight new customers with the initial order of 150 BV or more, and auto ship is not required, or developing four new consultants with their enrollment dates being October 29th through 25th. So anybody new that's enrolled from today through November 25th, if four of them, your personally enrolled, become consultants, you can get the iPad as well. But wait, there's more. If you enroll double, so 16 new customers, you can get two iPads. Sound good? comes in handy when you have twins that fight over everything. <laughs> so, um, this is, uh, or you can also add a, for doubling, you can also develop eight new consultants um, who are also enrolled during that time period, which by the way, you know, the iPads are pretty cool, but imagine what will happen to your business if you made eight consultants in a month, pretty much. It's pretty freaking rad. Okay. So they're going, to be, they're going to be launching some stuff, social media images and whatnot. There's another campaign coming out very soon too. And um, I don't know that I'm allowed to talk about it yet, but the, next, the new campaign that's going to kind of launch on top of this, the enrollments for that one don't count for this prize. But all of your enrollments from now until... Um, the the end of the dash to disney which is what what's that november 19th hey uh, you know don't you 18th. 18th 18th i knew i knew i could count on you so november 18th all of the enrollments from today through november 18th will obviously count for dash to disney also and the 15 enrollments that kathy cooper has challenged everybody to get by the end of the year that will count towards the hugest largest biggest whatever the giantest word you can say is, contest or, or incentive in isogenics history. Uh, on the leader call, they said, if you have 15 enrollments by the end of the year, you are 15% of the way there. So I had to ask a mathematician what that meant because I'm really not that smart, which just goes to show you don't need to be smart to be a network marketer. Um, so that's it. That, it big promotion big numbers so get your 15 in by the end of the year it's going to count towards all of these contests um and those only have to be 100 bb 
And that is, that. other than that, there's um, the buy one, get one free pumpkin spice, one day only, October 31st, Halloween day, that's it. So don't promote on the day, promote now. Tell people that Wednesday, if they love the pumpkin spice, it's buy one, get one free, that day only. So those are my, those are my uh, updates. Uh, if you haven't bought your ticket for New York kickoff, make sure you do it. Um, the other thing is hotel space is going very fast in Phoenix. So don't forget to do that. Start looking at your flights. Flight prices go up considerably starting in December. So you might want to book your flights and hotel before then. Uh, I hope that's cleansed, Jennifer Bennett. <laughs> Just kidding. No. <laughs> it's not as too dark. <laughs> um, all right, so as Josh said, this is an open forum tonight, so we don't get a lot of chances to, to share and ask questions. So please feel free to speak up. And look, oh, Jen, please, please feel free to speak. Bleh. I'm going to stop talking. You do it. So for those of you that just jumped on, we're going to have, we want to have an open forum because our calls have been so tight. To, we've been keeping it to 30 minutes. Um, we want to hear from you. We want to talk about whatever you want to talk about, as basic as you think it is. Doesn't matter if it has to do with the comp plan products, whatever you want to discuss tonight, it's open. So just uh, chime in and whoever wants to go first, certainly you can go first. I have something I want to talk about, but I'm going to wait for you guys to speak first. So does anybody have anything they want to talk about that they think will be helpful for them, their team, us, anything? Even an epic fail. Go ahead. Crystal. Crystal. I have like a million things, but I'm going to start with, so I would just wanted your thoughts on um, a couple of people now, since I started, I have enrolled them and they wanted to share with their spouse. So we made them an associate, they shared with their spouse and then they kind of dropped off. I have one girl now that's like kind of ordering and I feel like if maybe I hadn't made her an associate that maybe the incentive of the BV would have been better for her at this point, like five months in, four months in, because she lost it all the first month, right? So what are your thoughts on if she doesn't have anybody else that she's thinking about sharing with, enrolling her husband under her and just getting a coupon rather than becoming an associate so that she can continue to bank all that BV for a couple of months. Does that make sense? Anytime, yeah, I mean, we can try. Anytime someone can bank, you can set them up to bank BV. I, I think it's a win win because we don't know when they're going to be ready. They don't even know sometimes when they're going to be ready. But I think it's always better to put them in a position to accumulate over the months. I, I think what Crystal, though, you're saying is, and, and let me correct me if I'm wrong, if you haven't converted yourself to an associate, then it doesn't matter what the volume is those first 90 days. Right, because if they order like day 36 right. or even day right. 60, which is kind of what she did, she like liked them, went off of them, kind of went back on that, you know, so, but she's at, she was at zero BV as of day 30 because she shared with her husband and then that was it. So, gotcha. I don't know, that's just something I may think of in the future if they, if they don't have a second person in mind to get that double pib that first time if they enroll their husband. You know what I mean? So I, mean I just wanted to share that. Lisa's racket, do you have something on that? Yeah, I'm not really, I don't get what you're talking about in terms of the um, changing over to associate, you lose your BV. I thought you accumulate BV no matter what. And as an associate, you're saving that BV. So you have a window. You have, yeah, you have a window. so when you switch over to associate, you don't lose your BV. It's if you, be, if you, when you begin, if you switch to associate right away, if you ever uh, go past that 30 days, then you would lose your BV. But if you stay as a, as a customer the first night for the 90 days, you don't ever lose your BV, even if you don't order after 30 days. So the first three months, right? That's three months. The first three months you accumulate everything, your own stuff, plus everything under you. And then month three through six, you accumulate, or you just save everything. If you don't order every 30 days, you don't accumulate more, but you save what you have for, the, for six months. So, I mean, she would probably have, you know, enough to cycle at least once or, t once or twice. I don't know. I'm just, so that's Crystal, just something I'm thinking about. Yeah. 
did she go inactive? Is that what happened? Like she's right. not doing her 100. So that's on her. I mean, I don't say that's on her, but she, so that's why she's losing it. Like the first 90 right. days, it doesn't matter. Right. You don't have to be. The but she day. became an associate the first day. Right. Cause so she, she signed up her husband. So if right. I hadn't done that, yeah. if I had left her a customer and then she could have just gotten that $25 coupon. I think, you, I think you did the right thing by showing I do too. money. Yeah, yeah. I, okay. I would always she, say she so. got pibs for her husband, right? And now she's got her husband under her. If she stayed active with her 100 BV monthly, then she wouldn't have an issue with accumulating. Right. Yeah. But you, do you guys find that your first per? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm monopolizing this call. Do you guys find that your first person, and I don't think that they order within that first 30 days because by the time they get their box and sometimes they don't start right away, I feel like my first order with people is never at day 30. It could just be, that could just be me. I think that's just a, um, yeah, I think it's, I think it's on you really, like really yeah. stressing the importance. Like, listen, I'm going to, I'm going to have you switch over to an associate. You're going to get that referral bonus for your husband, but here's why ordering every 29 or 30 days is important. Yeah. Like, you might not understand it right now, but trust me, in the future, you're gonna thank me that I did this. And if they're just too confused and what blah, 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 the coupon thing is fine because you're still showing them some money. Yeah. And then you have that little bit of leverage down, you know, a couple months down. But really, you know, some people turn around and have someone right away that you you just never can predict the future. Right. So, right. You know, you you could give them you could give them a choice of either way, product uh, coupon or or cash. Um, but most people are going to say the cash anyway. So you're just going to mm -hmm. end up setting them that way. It just, it's kind of like a catch 22, but it's not too late to share that with her and say, listen. Yes, I have. Yeah. yeah. And honestly, like the little bit of BV that she would have accumulated in 60 days is nothing compared to if she stays on now and just stays the course. Right. Okay. Great. Call. Great question there. Anybody else? Chase has a question. <laughs> so I have a question that's probably been answered in the past, but I'm, my question is this, how often are people following up with people who are fence sitters? Because I feel like right now, and it may be the time of year, I have 4 billion fence sitters and I don't want to let them like, I don't want to leave them for too long, but I don't want to be up their butt either. So what's a good waiting time? And cause I'm, I'm really, one of my downfalls is I'm not strategic. I'm like, Oh, Hey, I haven't checked in with this person for a while. I'm going to check in. Wendy. Uh, I'm, I know that there are like 10,000 different ways to, to do it, but something that I learned from university in action, someone had said, the rule of two. So um, two days is the first follow-up. If you don't hear anything, two weeks, if you don't hear anything, two months, and then just keep doing two months, two months, two months, two months. Until Ooh, I like that. I like that. I love that. <laughs> I like having a formula. And I also like the two days because I'm, I let people go like a week and then I follow up after the first, if I get no response or something like that. So, okay. Thank you, Wendy. Think about when we were dating, right? If the guy called on the third day, you knew you were in. <laughs> and if he didn't call, it was all done. <laughs> Renee. I've also been, you know, whenever we have specials like the, you know, buy one pumpkin spice, get one free, or if the limited flavors come out and whatnot, even though they haven't signed up, I'll still send them, hey, FYI, this is a new flavor that we just came out with. And I've gotten a couple people that way, but yeah, worth a try. Yeah. Yep, free enrollment, free shipping, new flavors, new products, definitely all opportunities to uh, check back in with people. Yeah, call them up. I think I just drove by you in the car. Was that you? You know, it's a great way to start a conversation again. I know you live in Nebraska, <laughs> but. <laughs> Who else? South Korea. Come on, there's got to be some good questions. Nick. No. I'll, I'll unmute. Oh, now try. Okay, go. Better. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, actually, I was just going to add to the last one uh, with another question. I have started to uh, kind of put people in categories 
of information that they're interested in that relates to Isogenics products. And so what I'm doing is if I have the fence sitters, then I'm shooting them out bits of information, articles that relate to things that they're interested in and relating them back to Isogenics in that. So I can kind of do it in bunches. It's a little bit tedious, but that's how I've been following up. And I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Maybe you guys have had an experience with that, but I'm using that to lead in, hey, I came across this article I thought you might be interested in, and then I shoot it to them just like I'm doing with you know, people I work with, clients or whatnot. Um, that's, that's another maybe approach. I don't know if anyone's having success with that or has been doing that. Let me ask you, so is that working for you? you well, nothing, that? nothing's working for me right now. I have so many fence sitters that I'm, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm trying to be patient. So I can't really tell you, but it has opened up conversations. So as far as that goes, yes. Um, I, I haven't been annoying. <laughs> I think I've, I've passed the test of being annoying. Hey, if you're opening up conversations, I would say it's a winner. And you're adding value. I think it's, a, it's great. I mean, if you, if you think about any other, um, I shouldn't say this, but traditional business, they've got newsletters, they've got email blasts, and they, they give value. They give, they give information. And you're actually personalizing this. It's kind of like what Facebook does when you've looked at something online, it now gives you those ads. You're doing that, you know, from a personal touch and you know what they're interested in and you're sending them that specifically. So when their time comes, when they want to make that choice, your name is there. And the fact that you've been giving them value and that you think about them is, is at the top of their mind. So I think it's fantastic. It's a, everything we do is a cultivating process. Obviously sometimes it happens quick. Sometimes it happens over a year, right? Lisa's a racket. And then <laughs> it comes along. Uh, Carter. There we go. Hey, I, I, I won't, <clears throat> excuse me, I won't claim to be the expert, but I'm a big Todd Falcone fan. If any of you guys are, are or are not, he has a great video he released within the last um, month or two months. It's about, uh, I was trying to hurry and find it. Uh, don't be afraid to ask your fence sitters and he just gives you some language. So I urge you to go on that. I was hurrying to see if I could find it just in YouTube real quick, but okay. It's, it's actually called don't be afraid to collect decisions from fence sitting prospects. Cool. So go watch that. He gives some good confident language that I liked and probably my favorite part. And we've heard a little bit of, I think a lot of people use this is this may or may not be for you kind of giving them that I, I I've had a lot of success with that. So that's all I wanted to add. Yeah. Awesome. And, and, and thank you, Carter and Mick, just so you know, we, you know, I've, I've asked people just what Carter said in a kind of a funny way too. I'll be like, dude, are you ready to do this or not? It's been six months. You've been him and hind. So, and obviously you can't do that with everybody, but you can also do it in a, in a more, um, respectable way for those relationships that you have uh, of that status, if you know what I mean. You know, you're ready to roll. We've been talking about this. I'd love you to put it in your body. I can show you all the great science. You've seen it. Your body's not going to lie to you. You got a 30 day money back. Let's do this, man. Let's, let's try it. You know, and you can kind of give a little coax. <laughs> Yeah, I like to do uh, on a scale from one to 10, um, 10 being like by today, how close are you to getting your pack? Love that crystal. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people use that. Carter, so will you post that link in team limitless, please? Or have Wayne do it if you're busy. <laughs> Can I add to, um, I just want to say something to Mick, if that's okay. Um, I know it may seem tedious, but I, I find that the things that are tedious, it's like, it's creating organization for you. Um, and organization is huge. Like that's how you, um, they, they always say fortunes in the follow up, and I lose a lot of people because I don't have that organization. So I think putting in that little extra effort at the beginning is like you're sowing the seeds right now and everything that, that you're doing now is going to show up months later. And it's like one day you're going to be like, what the heck just happened? I got like 
five enrollments in one week and it was like, oh, the stars finally aligned. But like you're, you're doing the do and everyone, like the Coovers will, would say to you, wow, that, that reflects months of work that you had done before for, for it all to happen. So yeah, it's 3000 conversations to change your life. So you're true. on your way. So true. Who's got another topic? Renee. Speaking of tedious, <laughs> I printed my entire list of Facebook friends, but they're not in alphabetical order. Does anybody have an easy way to do that? You can. And Excel. Yeah, download it. I can get Excel, so I'd need some like handhold. <laughs> um, you can always ask the Google. True. Other things too. That helps. You guys use Excel. I think there's a video. I want to say there was a video that I shared at one point in Limitless. I can try finding it. But okay. there's like a YouTube video tutorial walking you through the steps of doing that. I think it's actually on the um, the steps one through eight. To appetize it? Uh, to upload it into Excel. To upload it, yeah. To, I, I know, I do remember, yeah, because I did it once and then it just, yeah. Awesome. Lisa's racket, did you have something? Can I just say something really quick though? Oh, yeah. The Facebook thing. So depending on how many friends you have, I don't know how others feel about that, but I was so overwhelmed by it that it just, I'm not saying it can't work. It just didn't work for me. Cause like you said, it's not, it's not in alphabetical order. So then it just became like really, um, I don't know, kind of tedious to go through. And then as you're adding new friends and they're not, I don't know, then you have to get very sophisticated when you're updating your Excel sheet of names that are already there. I don't know. Just, I guess it just depends on your following or maybe um, within Facebook, something that I started to do is you can create, um, you can create like a custom group feed. So the people that you are prospecting, you can keep them in a feed. So when you only have 15 minutes to power through Facebook, then you're loving on people that you have started the conversation in like re-engaging relationships. I found that piece personally to be more valuable. Mm -hmm. um but i mean there's so many different ways it's just not you know idea for what, what can work for you yeah if you've got a boatload of friends it could be very time consuming to get it all started in the beginning but i mean in the long run i do i do think it's worth it to to get everybody in there categorized because that's a huge list of people right so if you're ever scrambling for names i mean you've got however many well, friends have. Yeah, I think categorizing the Facebook within the different groups is helpful. Yeah. Cause then I don't know. Then you have so many isogenics networked friends too. So right. Yeah. You can yeah that's a tough one. This is racket. Did you have some? Yeah. I'm finally talking. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, two things. I wanted to tell Crystal that Jen Bennett had posted something in team limitless about the 29 days versus 30 days ordering your BV. And it was, awesome. I watched it one with somebody and it completely made sense. Like just, I think if you search, um, auto ship or something in team limitless, her video will come up and it's a great explanation. Um, okay. So my question is, I have all these people who have all this accumulated BV. I've talked to them about becoming consultants, um, anybody that they want to share with. And I've actually, you know, showed them the, the numbers and kind of, you know, they all say they want to, they love the product, but I just, I don't know what else to do. Like I'm looking for more tips on how to talk to people, how to kind of get them to, you know, share it or how I can help them share. Like if they can talk to, you know, have somebody talk to me or talk to you guys. I don't know. I'm just looking like, I feel like I'm just hitting dead ends on the, on expanding that consultant business part. Go ahead, Jen, our Jen. consultant pro. <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly, I'm reworking, right? It's, it's a constant process of people coming and going. So I think that's a big expectation. You just have to set with yourself that you're going to create consultants and some of them are going to stay. Some of them aren't, some of them will come back. And I think the more you create the new ones, it inspires mm -hmm. the other ones to kind of get themselves back in the game. But something that I think I've done a fairly decent job at is, like you're already doing is explaining people the value of the banked volume. And even if they're not converting to a consultant or staying as a consultant at this point, 
if you just keep stressing the volume piece of it and they keep their auto ship going, right? That is huge for your business, but it's also huge for their future potential business. Um, and I think you just have to remember that people are at where they're at and they just might not be really ready for that. And so don't, instead of feeling like you have to help them convert, you've already explained the value and they're just not ready yet. Just, you know, you've, you've stressed that. So hopefully they maintain it. Right. And then when they are ready, when a life event happens, then, then they can tap into it. And I'll give you an example. I have a friend who has been using the products for four years now. And, um, he, oh, shit, we did the math. He has like, I don't know, $60,000 of banked volume, right? Worth on his community leg. And, you know, I just kept stressing to him and, you know, kind of like Jen Ayat was saying the, you know, the two week, two month like follow up, I would just, you know, periodically let him know how much was there and what the money was worth, but he wasn't really ever ready until now to tap into the opportunity of it. And like for him, he got tired of his nine to five. He's now doing real estate hundred percent of the time. So now he's interested in this. So now I'm actually sharing material with him and helping him. So I guess I, instead of feeling like you have to convert them, just keep doing what you're doing of showing them the value of what's growing and just, and stressing to never let it go. Be, and then you just share these types of stories, right? Cause then when people are ready to tap into it, the money's there in the future. So instead I would just do more like visualization, right. And work around attracting someone who's really looking for something today to build, if that makes sense. And then these other friends will come back when, when it's their time. Cause you've already explained the value. I don't know if that's helpful and I don't even know if that's right, but that's what I've been doing. And it, it seems to, to work to some degree. Yeah. Awesome. No, that's helpful. Thanks. I think mm -hmm. that, you know, one of the things Jen was saying is like, you're doing everything right, Lisa, cause you're showing people what they have. You're like, here, look, this is what you have. And then they have to make the decision to do something with it or not. And it may not be the right time for them, but just keep doing that with everybody you know, that you enroll and eventually you'll see that you know, it's, it's the nature of the beast. Um, and I have like, I have somebody who has so much bank volume and she loves the products, but she's not ready to share. And I just keep every couple months. I'm like, Hey, just so you know, you're up to X amount of money now, you know, whenever you're ready. And she's like, thanks. So someday. Yeah, I think that's a good one. You just, yeah, you keep letting them know how, how much it is more, how much more, how much more. Um, Lisa, also, what you focus on, you find. So um, just to point out, your focus is on that they're not doing it. And so that's what's going to happen. So like Jen said, visualizing, find new people. Visualize these these ones that you have. I mean, I know I, I've, I've looked at your tree too. It's like crazy that they don't want to because they're all right there ready to pop, but they, they don't want to. And so you can, you can just kind of put them over here, follow up every couple of months, say, okay, here's how much, and then visualize them doing that, but then also just move on to other people who are hungry for it, who do want it. Um, and then the other thing I was gonna say is you could also ask them a, a very direct question, like, listen, I would love to be able to help you tap into this money. Is there a specific, thing that I can do for you to help you do it. You know, if you're uncomfortable talking to someone or if you just, you know, just kind of pull from them what what their roadblock is. Is it just cuz you don't you don't want the money? You don't you don't want to do this business? Like, let's talk about how you're feeling about this cuz maybe I can figure out like like a lot of times people think they have to do the business hardcore like the rest of us. And they don't want to do that but we can just show them how to share with a couple of people and just get their products paid for. But they're like, they have this huge pressure. Like, Oh, now I'm a network marketer and people are going to think crazy of me. And you just kind of got to ask them and pull from, just kind of like when we do the cake for, but you know, when rolling someone on the products, it's the same thing. Like, where are you at? How can I serve you? What can I do to help you cash in on this? Like, and just remind them that, you know, if it can be a one-time thing, or if they like the money and want to keep going, you can keep, you can keep doing it. Just, you know, I'll meet you where you're at kind of thing. Yes. I like that. Yes. That makes sense. You can call me too. You know, you're not I bothering me. <laughs> Bring over some uh, Middle Eastern food. And you're welcome anytime. 
<laughs> so listen, so we're going to have to sign off in a, in a minute or two, but I want to leave you with this, my little contribution to tonight. Um, and you, you don't have to raise your hands. Some of you are, are very discouraged because your cycles are down. Our cycles are down. It's perfectly normal. Look at the top income earners. Their cycles are down. It's a part of the process. And what I want you all to understand is as you grow, you grow, you level, you dip, you come back up a little higher, you grow, you level, you dip, and it keeps going like that. Some of you are seeing a dip, you're like, what's going on? And questioning your ability and yourself in this business. Do not do that for a second. In fact, you're the voice for your team. You've got to light bottle rockets under your team right now and reach down to them and tell them it's supposed to. It happens every year. There's a natural dip in the business, but you've got to give them that positivity or your people will walk because they haven't been around like you've been around or some of us have been around. So it's a part of it. You can't just keep going up. You have to level dip a little. You go a little further up. So that's the graph of this business. And I just want to be very clear that if you don't know that, now you know it. And chances are a lot of your team doesn't really know that. And they're getting discouraged. So the people that go into the WPP and you can't get them on the phone, they don't show up anymore. You can actually say, listen, I, I want to talk to you for about five minutes. I got to tell you what, this, what the nature of this business is because I think you might, be, so it might be discouraged a little bit. But I really want you to know that them hearing from you can be the difference of them throwing in the towel tomorrow or actually staying engaged and saying, oh, I don't suck at this thing. It's normal because Jen's cycles are down a little bit. Josh's cycles are down a little bit. It's supposed to. That's the nature of the beast. So really own that, take it, and share it with your people, all right? Because they got to know the truth, and that is the truth. It's part of it. Nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth. Love you guys. Great talk tonight. We'll continue next week, and uh, rock it out. Make sure you comment on the uh, recording. That Smash the like post. button. <laughs> <laughs>